Wait, there's something very weak coming through. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. Hello, fellow Galactic listeners. I'm Todd Hoffman, and this is WSTR, Galactic Public Access, a Star Wars podcast. Welcome to episode 117. Today, it's here. Well, it's almost here. Like So close. So close. Like, as this episode's drop, it will be one day before Celebration Chicago 2019. So, yes, we are going to get you prepared for Star Wars Celebration 2019. Joining me today, you kind of heard her already, is Miss Heather Allred. Hello, everyone. I still have so much to do before tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And uh, Mr. Aaron Julian has the uh, night off, so he will not be joining us. But Heather and I will take you through it. So we're super excited to talk about um, Celebration in a little bit. But first, you got to check us out on the social media, WSTR Media, all one word, all lowercase. You can email us at mailbox at WSTRmedia.com. Leave us a voicemail at 630-557-WSTR. That's 630-557-9787. Catch all our back catalog of episodes at podcast.com. WSTRmedia.com. And we also have a YouTube channel, so you can check us out uh, on YouTube. Just search for WSTR Media. And one day we will get back to <laughs> live streaming this bad boy. But in the meantime, you can still catch out episodes on YouTube if that's your thing. Um, we want to make sure we're covering all the media, so yes. we're, we're everywhere. Just, just search for WSTR Media. Um, today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get your free Audible book. Download for 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com forward slash WSTR. They have, like, Heather, like, f- almost 500,000 titles. It's, like, ridiculous. It's, like, so many. It's so many. Yeah. And uh, you could choose from, you know, your iPhone, Android, Kindle, MP3 player, whatever device you're learn, you know, want to listen to Audible, Audible stuff. You could do that. Um and there's, they have like exclusives too on Audible that only come from Audible, so you got to check them out. Um, and you get a 30 day free trial from us, and you help us, we help you. Bada bing, bada boom. You cancel any time, no questions asked. And uh, yeah, so check it out at audible.com forward slash WSTR. We got merch. 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 You can check that out at Teespring and you go to store.wsturmedia.com and that will take you right to Teespring and you can see all the cool stuff we got. We got all the new stuff for our new logo. So uh, if you didn't spend all your money at Celebration, now's the time <laughs> <laughs> to, to help us out. <laughs> go to store.wsturmedia.com. I find that hard. So maybe just save your pennies again right. and you can, yeah, after you. You spend all your hard-earned credits, Republic credits there. Uh, Heather, yes. what do we got up coming up at the news? Yeah, so later on in the episode, we'll do our news. But for right now, let me do a little tease for you to get you excited. Um, I have three simple words for you guys, and that is booze. Okay. Competition. Okay. And merch. Oh. Wow. Yeah. I could be talking about three things. I could be talking about one thing. Yes. You just don't know. Don't know. Well, stay tuned for that. Yes. All right. Next up is Twitter Trash Compactor. Get in there, you big boy. I don't care what you smell. All right. So every week we do some polls. We try to. I mean, it's it's Twitter. It's they got there. four choices every time, so uh, we try to try to do that. And so this week's poll was, what has you pumped about Star Wars right now? Right? Like, like right, right now. now. Right now. So um, these are the four choices. Okay. Celebration. Yes. Episode 9. Yes. Mandalorian. Mm. 
or Viva la Resistance. La Resistance. Those are good options. So, they are good options. That's kind of what's going on right now. Um, Resistance just finished season one. Mandalorian uh, hasn't even started. It's already going to get season two. Uh, episode nine is, you know, December. And celebration is, well, tomorrow. So hmm. there you go. So Heather, what would you have chosen? Here? Yeah. So um, I do think I voted. That's good. It's good. Um, I'm surprised that I don't remember if I voted, but if I, there's a lot going on in my brain, it's hard, guys. Yeah, um, I know. But I selected episode nine. Okay. I did not pick celebration. That is, I don't understand. Okay. I think while celebration is something that is epic and we're going to experience it, it'll be my first time going and be with my extended Star Wars family, if you will. Um, Mm -hmm. Episode nine is truly going to be something that closes out the Skywalker saga. It's going to close a major chapter in the Star Wars universe. And so I think that just puts it right over celebration. Yeah. I picked, I picked celebration because it's just going to be that it's going to be a cool experience. So everyone, everyone will experience episode nine, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, And you, you're right on the head. Like it's closing out something that's been going on for 40 plus years. But celebration is unique, and so only a select people will actually experience. Sure. And we get to experience that, so I'm kind of more leaning towards celebration. But uh, Twitter has voted, and episode nine takes the cake here. Yes. So they they were pro Heather on that. So. Woo! <laughs> yeah. You are right, Heather, as always. I, listen. You guys are gone for like one episode, and I have taken over the entire podcast. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, right. And Aaron and I were very worried. Um, we were like, "Well, I guess we might have a job when we come back." I don't know. Well, Aaron does because I don't know how to mix an episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks a lot. No, I can't. And Todd's yeah, in charge of social media, so yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. just the pretty face. What can I say? <laughs> right, right. A pretty face that we can't see all the time because we're not live streaming. So <laughs> it's just really a pretty voice at this point. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, well, weird. you know, it is what it is. It so, is what it is. you know, yeah, there's honestly, um, you know, Aaron has requested spicy tweets. And yeah. for um, there's not a lot of spicy tweets going on because I feel like Celebration is kind of pushing over. out the hate. It's kind of. Just all in clo- uh, you know, all just like consuming yep. uh, from a Star Wars community perspective. Uh, I would say the only thing Ryan Johnson was recently uh, interviewed at some festival. I think it was like some cinema festival. I don't even know. And so he was kind of saying he doesn't care what JJ does. Like so, if he like retconned like Ray did come from a Skywalker or something, he didn't care. He's like, I'm just excited to see what JJ is doing Mm -hmm. and uh, he's currently finishing up a movie and then he's going back to Star Wars. So uh, it's not really spicy tweet, but just because it's Ryan, you know, it gets spicy real quick. So I think he's just being a good ambassador of the product and saying, I'm excited for it just to see it. So there, there you go. So, well, and that's what we learned, Todd. We learned when we went over his documentary on the, the Blu-ray of Last Jedi. Yeah. He's a fan. Yes. He is just a fan of Star Wars. Yeah. And so that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Yes. So, um, yeah, I, I'm i excited to see what he will do again. But uh, we are obviously waiting for JJ's little episode nine. Thing Absolutely. Comes out. Yeah. Which we are super duper close, people. <laughs> I, <laughs> I mean, well, you know what? Let's just get to our okay, main topic. Because I, I, I will because I, I like lost it for a second and now <laughs> I'm I gotta I gotta, gotta refocus. Refocus. Um all right, let's move on to our main topic. And now for our feature presentation. All right, so uh we said this 
already, but you know, celebration is tomorrow, people. Tomorrow. So okay. um, we got a couple of days from a recording, so you don't know if they're going to drop some major news. I, I think we're kind of locked in, but you you never know. You you never know. It's it's it, Star Wars is just that it can surprise you. It's true. But um, if you don't remember, it was a long day to remember. Uh, it was May sixteenth, twenty eighteen. The Star Wars, the Star Wars show uh, announced it was going to be in Chicago. And I heard I, Todd from all the way, many miles away, was, freaking out. I, I, yeah, I think I think I was coming home from the train in New Lenox, and I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> I was screaming. <laughs> I was screaming. Uh, my good friend um, Brian Finnegan, he, he 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 sent me he sent me a text. I'm like, dude, don't. I mean, April Fools wasn't even around. I'm like, don't even be joking about this, right. like, because I was, I was, it was, de- I was pretty dead set that I was going to be back in Anaheim or whatever, and I was like, this can't be right. This can't be right, you know. And then everything, I looked on it, my phone, and it, it was right. There it was. It was, it was all true. It was all true, and I kind of freaked out, and I, I screamed a lot, so. So there you have it. But yeah, so it's <laughs> May 16th, 2018. And now it is going to be almost, I mean, it's almost a year. So it's like 11 months ish yep. um, that now we're finally, finally here. And it just, I, I think I'm going to have the same feeling when episode nine comes out. Cause it's, you know, been a minute since uh, we have seen a star Wars film mm-hmm. and it's going to have that kind of same surreal feel. Cause it's like, is this really happening? Yes, it's happening. It, it's that's what a calendar does, and that, that's what time does. It kind of just keeps on churning. Yep, so it does. Here we go. But I thought we would start before we get into like what we're really, 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 really excited about. Totally. I thought we kind of give some tips of like, hey, so smart. Th- yeah, I mean, this is your first celebration. Heather. First time. First. But you're also a little experienced and now you've been to C2E2, so you kind of got that experience. But if this is your first celebration or your whatever, eighth, ninth, I don't know what number Star Wars Chicago is. I can't think right now because I can't. But it's been a while. Mm -hmm. There's been a couple. Um, that I know I remember seeing Orlando and some dude was like on, they had it like on the live stream and he held up all the badges from all the celebrations. Wow. And I'm just like, that dude's legit, man. That dude is legit. So, um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we're, we're just going to kind of, I mean, some of these seem common sense, but maybe, maybe they're not. I don't know. I don't know. Let's start off with the weather. Okay. The weather. So, yes. <laughs> so, Welcome so to Chicago. Chicago. <laughs> Chicago. You know, you think April and you're like, dude, like today of this recording, it was like 70 degrees. That's great spring weather. Next week, not so much. Not so much. So, as again, as of this recording, Thursday looks 56, thunderstorms, you know, 49, 49, 52 on Monday, some rain. So, Basically, Chicago never knows what it's going to do each day. So no. it could be raining, and then it could be it could be sunny. Uh, the thing you have to consider too is that we're closer to the lake, and so the lake is Lake Michigan. Mm-hmm. Um, McCormick Place is a little south of that, but it's still really close to the lake, yep. and we get a lot of lake effect. So and we get a lot of wind. That's called the Windy City for a reason. So and then there's this weird thing about tall buildings. It kind of takes out the sun a little bit Uh and it creates so like you could be in the shadow and it's like 20 degrees colder than if you're you're in the the sun sun. yeah yeah so if you're gonna stay at the hotel near mccord place you're fine you're basically you could run as fast as you can you know don't don't let the rain drops hit you and you could be there in there but if you're traveling or you plan to walk around chicago after celebration you gotta dress appropriately so you know Bring all your favorite Star Wars shirts, all that stuff. But then yep. <laughs> you might want to bring, you know, like a hoodie 
windbreaker and like that winter coat. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if you're not from the Midwest. Uh, so. Especially if you're bringing kids that are not used to the cold. Yeah. So, you know, here, here here's the thing. If the other thing you want to think about McCormick Place is two, is there's like three big lots. So there's lot A, lot B, and lot C. Lot A is right by the establishment, like right there. Lot B is literally like an open parking lot with a bunch of semis that they park there. And then they throw a bunch of cars in there. It's really weird. One year, I swear to you, one year at C2E2, I was parked so far away. <laughs> Next to this truck, like in the middle of nowhere, and like it took me like forever to get back there. Lot C is like literally old McCormick Place. Yes, there's an old and new, and it's like on the other side of the highway, but it's covered, so it's fine. It just takes you forever yeah. to get there. It's not a big deal. So again, like if you're parking lot B, you still got to walk in the elements. Lot A and C, you're kind of uncovered, so you don't really need to bring a jacket. Mm-hmm. But again. If you plan on like, hey, I want to go see the bean. I want to go see all this stuff that you're doing the tourist thing. If you're not from Chicago, um, then really you should pack appropriately. And you might even have to pack like a winter coat. I don't know. Or (laughs) if you're not used to it, like if you're coming from Florida or wherever. I mean, it's just it's weird, man. It's just a weird thing. Yeah, it won't be quite the Hoth-like conditions that Chicago no. could be, but no, no. But I, I don't want to call you a wimp if you're, you know. But again, if you're used to Tatooine and you're coming to, right. it is kind of like Hoth. It, it's a little bit different. Yeah. So just, just or prepare, you know, just do like what the rest of us do sometimes, and that's to just buy the sweatshirt that costs just seventy five dollars just to right. stay warm. We've all done there it. You go. There, there's there no go. shame there people there's no shame there's no shame in that all right heather what, what's next what's all next? right so imagine just todd communicating there's like three parking lots and it's a big yeah. city right well mm-hmm. the fact that there's an old and a new mccormick that's going to tell you space it's a big <laughs> place so yeah. there's going to be some legit walking and there's gonna um be- it yeah, I, I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you, but it is the largest North American convention center. So there's that. So we're just gonna drop that mic real fast. Um <laughs> but then there's gonna be some standing in lines. So that means one thing comfortable shoes. So as someone who has frequented Disney parks in the past, where you yeah. do a lot of walking and you do a lot of standing, comfortable shoes are your thing. And if you are fortunate enough to come more than one day and you're traveling in, I highly, highly recommend that you trade off your shoes every other day because then your feet. Wow. Oh, yeah. Okay. Listen. Um, shout out to Lindsay, my friend Lindsay, for that tip, because then your feet won't get blisters as quickly or at all if you change out your shoes every day because as you know at the end of a day your feet can swell if you change the con- the conforming of your foot daily with between different shoes it's actually going to be a benefit to you so comfortable comfortable shoes dude mind blown and i know it sounds creepy and it might be awkward um but when you get home or back to your hotel just do a really quick foot massage on yourself just to loosen your muscles and i guarantee you you'll be golden by tomorrow or the next day wow. i mean yeah and that is your public service announcement from wstr media <laughs> that is amazing that's amazing i'm down with it I was gonna, todd was not prepared for that level of explanation when he handed this no. off no Mm-hmm. And that's what you bring to the table. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Uh, people, she just dropped the mic. I... <laughs> Podcasting right, is over. All right. Um, Numero here's, three. Yeah. Here, here's, here's the simple thing here. You got to sleep. Sleep. You got you to gotta, gotta take a bath or a shower, whatever you prefer. Or Axe body spray. I don't care. Um, and take your vitamins, your, your vitamins. Um <laughs> It's important to, uh, you know, uh, I'll pull Hulk, Hulk Hogan because WrestleMania is like coming up. Uh, you got to say your prayers, you know, eat your vitamins and, you know, st- you know, st- become a Hulkamaniac. But um, we're talking about Star Wars here. So <laughs> I digress. Uh, yeah. The, the cool thing. I mean, here's one cool thing about this whole lottery thing. Even if you're not uh, too hyped about it and you might not get picked. 
uh, you get to sleep more than ever before because no one's going to be waiting in line all night. So yeah. I think a lot of people are going to be more happy at celebration because they're not going to be sleep deprived unless they're partying until, you know, five o'clock in the morning and then whatever. Mm-hmm. But that's that's your choice. This is not like your forest, you know. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, just get some sleep. Make sure you get at least six hours of sleep, you know, um, so you can um, you know, handle both the light side and the dark side with people, you know? So, um, you know, and then there's always that con crud going on. So make sure you, 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 you get up with the, you know, get the vitamins going and then, um, nothing worse than sitting next to a very lovely person and, and they smell. So, uh, we try to be kind about it, but you know, you know, we, we want you to bathe and, yeah. you know, be, fresh i guess yeah <laughs> we like fresh star wars fans <laughs> out here <laughs> uh, todd i gotta add something to your list if that's okay you you can this it's your show as well it, thank you um, yeah you're welcome i would highly highly recommend bringing like hand sanitizer um along with Word. that that vitamin healthy bathing situation um mm-hmm. just because with the amount of germs like todd said that are going around sometimes you just don't always have access to going running to the bathroom to wash your hands just a little and you're done <laughs> yeah, done keep keep those germs you know keep those germs to yourself you know um yeah all right heather what up all right what's next so i assume everyone's been saving all of their pennies um to bring with them to celebration for all of the merch all the goodies the you know life-size chewbaccas all the things all those things so pack extra space so whether that's an extra bag whether you're planning on shipping it home um you know whatever you need to do figuring out how you're gonna get it so i highly recommend you know maybe bringing a backpack um you know so you can put your goodies in there or some other type of you know, crossbody bag or something like that. But then, mm, no, if yeah. you're flying in, that maybe you pack a suitcase within the suitcase. So that way, when you bring right. your goodies home, you've got the extra bag already. So, dude, yeah. Yep. Because I would hate for you to have to leave it here. But otherwise, you can do care of Heather Allred and I'll, you know, properly right. house it for you. You're right. Vacuum seal it, wear it a couple times. <laughs> that would be great. Yeah, exactly. So, yes. Yeah, that's that. You know, it's. I mean, again, it's just making sure you have space for the merch you're gonna buy, and right. you never know what you're gonna get. You Absolutely. know. Um. Here's the thing. What's the, what's the thing? Uh, you're gonna get hungry. Mm, food. You need, you need you need snacks. So pack those snacks. Um. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're going to, you know, uh, if it's anything like C2E2, again, I'm using that as where McCormick Place is at. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just, that, I mean, they have food, but it's also very expensive. Mm-hmm. And the amount of people, it means long lines. So if you don't want to wait in line for food, yep. um, pack some snacks, get some protein, make sure you get some bars of some sort and, you know, that kind of thing. But there are going to be vendors there. I mean, but it's very, I, I would assume it's, as limited as C2E2, so it's going to be kind of tough. I mean, mm. they do have a Starbucks. There is a McDonald's in there. Um, but, it, dude, with so many people, it's just – it's inevitable. There's going to be a line no matter what. Right. So just pack some snacks. Totally. And, like, you know, grab, like, a water bottle and know that you can fill it up at a water fountain if you're trying to save yeah. funds that way. Um, and I would also highly recommend – you know, depending on what panels you're going to and, you know, what your timetable is, try to eat off hours. Don't eat at your traditional noon hour for lunch if you can. Oh. You know, try to find. Wow. The, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're like, I'm not a 12 person. No, we're going at two. So, right. Um, yeah. So, but, but then everybody does the same thing. Like, you know what? I'm not. I'm going to do 12. We're not going to do right. 12. You know? So just don't be surprised if there's a lottery for lunch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I see what you did there. Thanks. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, right. Anyway. Uh, what else? Yeah. So speaking of lotteries, um, point number six. Oh, we're on six. Thank you for keeping me on track. Listen. And our listeners. So number six is the Star Wars Celebration app. Oh, yeah. It just came out. Just came out. I got it downloaded. 
I don't totally understand it yet, but I got a couple days from this recording and then a day from drop. Um, but this is going to be a great place for you to keep your information pulled together, find the FAQs, you know, probably a map of McCormick is going to get thrown in there. But I highly, highly also super duper recommend that if you have confirmation emails for photo ops, autographs, yep. all those things, yep. print yep. a copy of them and bring them because with the 10,000 of your closest friends all trying to use the same Wi-Fi, I guarantee you yeah. something's going to go down. Yeah. Yeah. I, I say, you know, we here at WSDR, we like the safe trees, but this time just, just print it out, man. Print those confirmations out so you got a backup because nothing's worse than, you know, your phone not working or whatever, um, that kind of thing, but yeah. also just – or the app not working or the right. app's draining your battery and you're like, oh, I can't find that confirmation. I need to be at so-and-so and so-and-so. Absolutely. You know, so. Absolutely. So there you go. There you go. There you go. All right. Number seven, protect the art. So what a good one. It just, just, they have them there. The vendors are there like buy a little, tube for your posters or you know they have like these long like plastic sleeves for your prints so you know nothing worse than dropping some heavy cash and then you have a bent corner and it's like dude it's just it's just that the would worst be awful <laughs> i mean i i'm pretty a perfectionist about that stuff too and it's just like anytime you have like a little crease or like a bent corner it's like mm -hmm. dude why 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 did I get something to protect it? Or you roll it up and you're like, oh, I got it, and you got the rubber bands, and then you take it out and it's still like all rolled up. And yeah. you're like, oh man. So yeah, so protect it, protect it. Um and I also feel like if you can, like when you purchase art from one of the vendors, try to like be really like um I there's a word I can't think of, Todd. Oh my gosh, my it's all um <laughs> be aware of who you're purchasing it from and like who that artist oh. is. So that way when someone compliments you on your piece of art yes, or something yes. like that, or if you choose to share it on social media that you can credit yeah. the artist, yep. that's just a yeah, huge way to keep building the community. Yes. Yes, exactly. Yes. Very good point. That's why I'm here. <laughs> um, okay. So buy a tube, protect your artwork. Yes. Done. Yeah. All right. Done. We all live on cell phones. What? I don't know if you know this or not. So okay. with all of the activity, all the social media, the taking photos, the tweeting and Instagramming and all the things potentially going Instagram or Facebook live because you've got people who couldn't make it, your battery's going to die. Yeah. And there's only so many outlets. So bring a backup somehow. So whether that is a charging apparatus, whether it's one of those like portable, you know, charger things that just plugs into your phone, whatever you got to do, yeah. Um, yeah. bring it so that you're not, you know, three hours in and are like, Oh, I guess I don't need to be a part of the world anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish I could have took that picture. Oh yeah. My phone's dead. Darn it. Ah. So, I, yeah, so we kind of talked, yeah, we talked about this with the app, like if yeah. you're using the app and then your phone dies, it's not cool, or, you know, with the printouts mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So you need a phone battery backup or yeah. whatever, you know. And I highly recommend, and this is what I did, is because I use my phone so much to check times, and since times uh -huh. will be so important for the day, mm -hmm. it, I realized I didn't own a watch. And so, oh. I, and I mentioned this in last week's episode as I bought a watch. Um, I'm fortunate enough that it has R2-D2 all over it um, because let's be honest. It's, um, so it's not a watch if it's not Star Wars, so. so if you have one, bring a watch. That's going to save you tremendous amounts of checking your phone and checking that battery. So that, so. that is true. That is true. That was Very number good. eight. Number nine, uh, Todd. Uh, here's an easy one. I, it sounds easy, okay. but you should have fun. <gasps> that <laughs> I feel like that's what Star Wars Celebration is. It's like in the name. It's like I like it. Celebration. So you just celebrate. So I mean, 
I guess what this one for me and it's like you're gonna I like I try to plan my schedule out already. Mm-hmm. I, I got things overlapping already. Like I there's just there's too much. It's too much. So <laughs> I kind of I kind of you know and like we were Heather and I were talking offline like we still haven't figured out this lottery thing and we're, I'm just like you know what it's it is what it is if we get yeah. in there. And we have to sit separately. Okay. It's, it's not the worst. It's fine. Because we couldn't figure out how to freaking <laughs> merge those group codes. We are not uh, smarter than the system. Uh, it was like, it beat me. It beat me. Um, but really what it is, is just like, you know what? And, and this is what I was telling Heather. is like, uh, we just have to have fun. Yeah, You know, it's just about, so, you know, so like you want to have like, I, it's good to be organized. Like I'm not denying that. I already put it on the Google calendar. I put mm-hmm. it on the app. I'm all good. But like, there's going to be stuff where like, maybe I met somebody and then I'm talking to them, you know, and I'm going to miss a panel or, you know, like leave, leave. What I'm saying is just be flexible. Let the force guide you, you know? <laughs> I like that. So, Let the force guide you. Yeah. Yeah. So just have fun. I mean, that's the whole point. I mean, it's the whole point about like connecting with people yes. and you all like the same stuff, but do you have to go to 16 panels in one day? No. No. You could, but then you'd be, you know, then you'd be grumpy pants and then like you are, will be part of the dark side. So, you know, right. yeah. Nice. Yeah. <sighs> all right. So I'm going to throw a Todd for a loop. I'm going to switch our last two in order because I like number 10 to be the last one, I think. So okay. So um, I'm going to make number 11, number 10 by saying ask okay. before taking someone's picture. Oh, OK. This is just kind of common courtesy. I, I think specifically if you, you know, um, are taking a picture of family with kids involved, you know, mm. um, people in costume. It's just nice to ask, just to be like, you know, and there's the great universal, like, you know, the charades, like where you hold a camera in front of your face kind of a thing. You know, don't be afraid just to ask. You'd be surprised yeah. how many people actually say yes. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. And so... Um, and this is, yeah, this also like kind of goes into, and I mean, this is on the celebration rules if you're reading them, but like right. cosplay, you know, like it, you, you have to be, you know, it's not like just because it's whoever that you can be like all touchy feely and all this stuff is like, no, 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 no. You got to be respectful. Um, right. You know, if you see like a hundred slave Leia's or whatever, or you see a hundred, whatever, you know, mm-hmm. loose cow workers, you got to do the same thing. You got to totally. be respectful. So um, it's just important to do that. And like you said, you know, ask before you take a pick. I mean, it's just, you know, most people that are cosplaying are there also just for, you know, taking pictures yeah. and being part of the community. So, but it's just good common sense to be like, yo, yeah. can I take your pick? Right. You know, so. Well, or even like if you're, you're finally meeting up with, you know, your Twitter family, you know, the people that you've been, you know, following on Twitter or like your Instagram feeds or something. And you've never actually personally yeah. met. It's all been digital. Like, mm-hmm. don't just assume that your digital friendship equals a personal, you know, situation. So be like, hey, can we yeah. grab a selfie together just to say that, hey, we met in person. Yes. Yes, exactly. I mean, you have good points. You're, you're, so, you're so good. You're so good. Which kind of leads All us right. to the last one, which I hope is the big one. Yeah. This this is kind of like the same thing with having fun. It's like the other thing. It's just like be kind. You know, like we're all there because we love Star Wars. Yes. We wouldn't be there if we didn't love Star Wars, I Correct. guess. But um, it's just be kind to people. Like this kind of goes with the sleep thing. If you lack sleep, you're going to be, you know, a little edgy and we all want to get into these panels. We all want to get, see our stars and we want to get all these autographs. And in some instances we will be like, you know, it's like herding cattle. It's like, you know, trying to get to the same. We're herding cats. Yes. Yes. So there's going to be, and there's so many people there. Mm -hmm. So, but just be, just be kind to people mm-hmm. and, and make sure – give them benefit of doubt. Like, Absolutely. you know, like if somebody is a jerk to you, just, you know, take that moment and be like, all right, maybe 
They something happened. You know, their their cell phone died. They have blisters on their feet. They didn't get enough sleep. Right. You know, I you mean, know, they got locked out of the room. Hanger you know, is a real hotel. thing, people. Hanger is a real <laughs> thing. That's that's for sure. And let's too. let's again. And I and I hope this doesn't sound horrific. And you guys can call me out on the socials later. But like, let's be respectful of those who have a disability and so it's just taking them longer to get through a line or yeah you know an yeah. age factor like just you know just take a breath yes just take a breath that's right that's right i i think that's good right that's good so there you go that's like our top 10 with a bonus so there you go <laughs> <laughs> 11 z's 11 z's 11 you know z's. so I love it. yeah for your habits um yeah, so Heather, let's God. let's get to the port. Let's get to the port stuff. So I mean, that's all good. I hope hope you like our tips. Um, as you're you know driving into the city and you're listening, you're like, oh, this sounds good. I, yeah. maybe I'll get another pair of shoes, or I don't know, or I'll buy some soap so I can take a bath. Whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> forgot to pack that. You know. Um, yeah. All right. We kind of you know. It's finally here. <gasps> finally, finally, finally here. What are you looking forward to? What are your expectations? What yeah. are some of the things you're, you know, you've seen the, the schedule's finally released. Right. What are some things you're looking forward to do, Heather? Yeah. I mean, there's kind of a variety. You know, first off, I'm just, I'm excited. Um, I've only been to, like, a major convention like this through C2E2, um, you know, and I've gone like a day. I've never really gone to a convention for like a, f- a, day. a day. I know. <laughs> so lame. Um, so hard as, <laughs> you know, to experience it kind of back to back and have that, you know, convention fatigue where you're so tired because you've just jam packed, you know, <laughs> day after day, but you still have this like hyped up energy kind of a thing. Um, I'm excited to share it not only with my podcast guys, Todd and Aaron, hey, um, but my my friend Deb's coming with me on Saturday, and I'm just, you know, to share Star Wars with her. Um, I'm excited to meet, well, hopefully, you know, we'll see if I can find them among the 10,000 people. Um, some of the people we've met through through this podcast that have come on as, you know, yeah. you know guests yeah. and stuff, and just, so from a people perspective, I'm super super jazzed about yeah. sharing an experience with with the people. I'm also super excited. I mean, I've never been to a panel. Even going to C2E2, I've never gone to, like, a breakout <laughs> session. <laughs> We're like, never did that. Oh, yeah, exactly. um, so I'm super excited about right. that. I think that'll yeah. be a lot of fun. Um, I spent money, and I bought a, a, a photo op, um, which I literally probably, like, Five or six years ago, I like was like, who spends money to get your photo taken with a celebrity? So lame. Oh, well, you we can cross that off the list, I guess, because oh. here I am. Yeah. Um. And then, yeah, I've got I I know I put time into my wardrobe and you know trying to look cute. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going full cosplay, but I've got some really fun, you know, homemade Star Wars wardrobe pieces I'm you know hope yeah. you know excited about and yeah. um it I'm there's just so much I mean I could keep listing things I sure you yeah. know I think yeah. obviously we're all just waiting for episode nine information you know Mandalorian information <sighs> Dude, I, I can't even process that you dropped that bomb before we started the main topic I literally can't process yeah. that um but it's fun they've got some great panels about costuming about women Mm -hmm. you know in star wars and um some other things that you know hopefully we can get fit into the schedule and um you know all the droid building ones i mean they really have something for whatever your star wars hook is um yeah i'm just (laughs) there's i don't even know there's just a lot i'm just i'm excited and i think yeah I, i think the thing that I'm most nervous about, um, okay. if I can take this little small spin, is just how I'm going to react. I mean, this is, you know, um, I am just over a year anniversary of my brother's passing, who really yeah. was my greatest Star Wars influence. So right. to go do something at this scale, it's huge. Where he won't 
have an experience or I won't necessarily be able to share it with him, even though I know he'll, he will, he'll be a part of it with me. You know, I'm very nervous about how I'm going to respond, you know? So if you see this girl like crying in a corner, it's just me. Don't panic. Um, (laughs) don't panic. Um, be kind, be kind. kind. So, um, yeah, but I think, yeah. So I'm excited to kind of see where the excitement and the, the kind of true raw emotion meet together and yeah. have a full rounded experience. It's a very long winded answer, but that's my answer. People. <laughs> that, that's a good answer. That's good. So Todd. Yeah. I'm probably going to echo a lot of those things that you just said, but yeah. Um, literally, like I said, I, I kind of like put everything I want to see and I'm just like, this schedule is crazy, man. There's no way I'm going to do this. Yeah. Um, so, so that's why I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to roll with it and see what happens, you know, try to do as much as I can. Um, you know, I want to troop a little bit, but at the same time, like I want to experience it, you know, just as a fan totally. and not. So I'm um, trying to work that out, but I do want to try to get into, there's the big 501st group thing that I want to, you know, photo op that I want to do. And, um, yeah, I just, there's a tattoo competition. I'm just like, yeah, I got to go to that and try to get me a prize or something. I but say. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you know, um, but like I am, I'm just really excited to like experience all this. And, and again, like, I'm not really, I'm not really like, I mean, yeah, I want to be there at these panels, but at the same time, like if I don't get into one of these major panels, it's okay. It's okay. It'll be fine. I, I won't die, you know, but, um, <laughs> we'll just have to go to one of the stages that are live streaming it, yep. you know, from, so that's, it's fine. But like, like you said, Heather, I want to experience, you know, have fun with you guys and experience, meet people that we haven't met, you know, physically, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> electronic, <laughs> it's, social media is weird, man. It's weird. It's just like, a you know, and you're like, wait, now you're like a real person. Right. And it's almost like you have to like the Sims and like where you're like a uh, Twitter handle, like above your head, you know, like, seriously. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but yeah, I'm really excited. I mean, there's so many panels. It's mm. ridiculous amount of stuff that they're out there. Like there's one that I kind of want to go to is like the creatures of the cantina. I'm mm-hmm. like, dude, I want to see that, you yeah. know? And there's another one with like Doug Chang, who's like a major, um, art director for like all the prequel stuff. And like, I dude, it's like a master. It's like, I think it's called like masterclass. I'm like, dude, yes. I want to want to know about that, you know? And then the, we got like the podcast meet up, but like on Saturday, I'm like, dude, I want to meet these people that also podcast about star Wars, you know, and there's a podcast stage that we weren't included on, but we'll, we, we should just go out there, Heather, and just like, hold up signs like boycotting you know no <laughs> but no we will support the people that are made it that's a fantastic honor yes um but yeah it's just uh there's just so much stuff so i'm just but I excited repeat, we are local so if somebody drops out we could be <laughs> <laughs> what you guys did all uh, we just hanged out of the podcast stage because we wanted just to see if somebody got sick and we'll be there um but no yeah there's so much to experience i'm really really looking forward to all that and seriously like after Friday, who cares? It's going to, you know, I saw episode nine trailer finally. So right at that point, whatever, whatever man, whatever, whatever. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, um, it's, it's going to be fun. I know Aaron's super hyped about it too. So, yeah. um, yeah. So, uh, you bring yeah, in it's going to be, well, the, yeah, yes, I'm going to try, okay. but like my kids are like oh, been sick for right. two weeks straight. It's ridiculous. They went on spring break, got sick, and now they're still sick, and it's they missed a week of school, and it's like they're still not better. So we're Jen and I are like, ah, now they got to beat all these people, and you know, immune systems are already where they're at. Yeah. And so hopefully they'll be able to enjoy it as well. So fingers crossed. We shall. Fingers crossed. All right, so there you go. That's it's it's happening, people. It's happening. We can't stop it. It's the countdown's on. Celebration is right here. So hopefully 
take our tips and hopefully we get to, uh, you know, hopefully you're looking at all those fun things that are is in celebration because there's so much. Oh and then obviously, Heather, we will be recapping all this soon well. <laughs> after after we cover. We would so. be major failures if we did not cover. <laughs> Right. We have like, you know, like we just come back and then it's like six episodes in. It's like, yeah, celebration was pretty cool. Yeah. All right. No, you're going to get like a full episode of, of us going like, dude. <laughs> dude. It's going to be like the Chris Farley show. You remember the Chris Farley show no. in uh, Saturday Night Live? It's like, <laughs> do you remember? Do you remember that time? You remember that? <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> that's, that's what it's going to be oh, like. Man. Uh, and you know it's funny too um you know because i feel the same way too like uh as we close this out it's like you know people that can't go yeah. it's like i get it you know you got a job you got you got budget stuff yeah. you got all this adulting stuff that you can't like right. you know or you were going and something came up and now you can't go and so there's like people, you know, posting on the internet like, yeah, everyone's doing all this, like picking out their wardrobe and what they should wear. And I'll be like, I'm not doing nothing. So hopefully, you know, don't be haters. Just try to, you know, yeah. live vicariously through everybody. And and like I said, when people are there, don't be respectful of people that can't make it. Yep. You know, it's like there's still Star Wars fans out there that can't make it, you know. Totally. So we're just... We have no excuse. It's literally in our backyard. We can't. We're not. We're not flying. I mean, that's the other thing. I mean, that's the other weird thing that's kind of unique about this. It's it's international. It's yeah. like people will be from all over the place, it's which true. we we didn't really have to go anywhere. We're just going a couple miles. It's true. <laughs> so, it's true. So it's true. All right, Heather. How about we move on to the news of the week? Let's do it. And now. The Star Wars News of the Week. All right, guys. We have um, some news from USA Today that says, May the buzz be with you. And when I mean buzz, I mean booze. So, <laughs> the... Not, not, not a bee pun? Not a bee pun? No. No, okay. Um, so, Gold Squadron lager lager I'm, i should not be doing this new segment i do not drink alcohol um and other star lager. wars booze Come on. names Come on. Are, have now been trademarked so um lucasfilm has trademarked the names of several beers wines and a cider that may be soon found on the menu at oga's cantina which will be um, um the most exciting place to go at Disney's Ooh. much anticipated Star Wars Galaxy Edge both at Disneyland and Hollywood Studios. So among all the trademarks we have I'm going to butcher all of these names. Do you want me to help you out? Yes, please. All right, so Gamorian, Gamorian Ale. Ale. That's the piggy guy from Return Jedi. Right. The Gold okay. Scott Squadron. Wow. Lager. 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 <laughs> I swear to you, I don't drink. I just, this is how my, this is how I am. Okay. Oh, the Trandoshan Ale. Trinchinian. Trinchinian. See what I did there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, um, that's Bosque. Bosque. The bounty hunter. F- yeah. Then why the don't they just guy. call it a Bosque Ale, people? I don't know. It's, it's sexier that way. I don't I know. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Um, you got this one. I got this one. The White Wampa Ale, um, yeah. as well as an Andonian White mm. and a Corillian Red Wine. Mm. There's an Imperial Guard Wine, mm-hmm. um, a Tonneray Wine. Yeah. And then, of course, the Spice Runner Hard Cider. Dude. So, like, yeah. a full gamut <laughs> for you to choose yeah. from. I, I, I tested, I, I, texted this link to to my friends and they're like you don't really even drink beer i was like i don't care for star wars i will try them all that's right that's right (laughs) (laughs) so yeah so that i mean that's pretty cool i mean they're being catchy with stuff and i'm okay with it it's not a bad thing so no not a bad thing so all right. All right. What do we got? Next, next up from Forbes. You know, they're the money people. Forbes. Forbes. 
Uh, Star Wars Episode Nine has one huge advantage over Avengers Endgame. Do bum, tell. Bum, bum. All right, so basically, I'm gonna I'm gonna just cut to the chase. There's a lot of stuff going on here, but really, what it's saying is that okay, Avengers Endgame is coming out in April, like in a month. Right. Well, less less than a month, man. We are in April. Less than a month. Did you get your tickets yet? No. Oh, I, I got Thursday tickets. Good for you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I don't want to be spoiled, so I have to see it that night. Yeah. So it was it was like, you know, the guys are like, oh, let's let's get together and do it. I'm like, okay. And then no one would really want to commit. And then we started looking at the times and like everything sold out. AMC crashed. Like AMC theaters wow. website crashed. It was bad. But um, I digress. Yes. They're coming out. It's coming out April. Correct. Right. Which is it's kind of like this is kind of like in like Thanksgiving because it's like Black Friday was like Black Friday. And then now it's like Black Thursday. You know, it's like bleeding in. So Seriously. summer movie summer movies was like late May. Right. Then kind of creeped to mid May. Then it's like middle, April, middle or early May. And then, like, last year, Infinity War came, like, Robert Downey Jr.'s like, hey, why don't we release it a week earlier? Right. And they did. And so now it's coming out pretty much the same time, like, the last week in April. So summer movies are now, like, in April, you know, is what it is. But really what this, the, the article is saying is, like, okay, you got Detective Pikachu with Ryan Reynolds coming out May 10th. Right. You got John Wick Chapter 3 May 17th, Disney's Aladdin May 24th. Godzilla, King of the Monsters. I can't wait for that. May 31st, Dark Phoenix, June 7th, Men in Black, International, June 14th. And so there's all these, There's although Avengers is on the front end of that, there's all these other summer movies right. that, again, take time and take consumers' money and say, well, now I want to go to this movie. I'm not going to see Avengers nine times in a row because I want to see all these other ones. Exactly. Um, and that's kind of what the, the advantage is because – it, now that Star Wars is dropping back into December, um, they're just Forbes is going on and saying that there's not a lot of competition um, from a Star Wars perspective mm-hmm. to get. There won't be as much films released around the same time, so <laughs> Star Wars might have a, have an advantage. And plus, the other thing that again, what we missed with Solo is that. You kind of have that winter break, yep. and now you have like, oh, I don't have any other obligations. Yep. So now I can go see Star Wars again. And then, obviously, coming out in April, there's a lot going on, and not everyone has like these huge, you know, two weeks where I can go see movies a couple times. Yep. You know. So there you go. So Forbes is just saying, yo, it's it has it's just specifically the timing of the drop will help Star Wars out mm-hmm. and maybe actually push it. Here's the thing, guys. It's going to the same bank. It really is. <laughs> I mean, Disney Disney will make... I mean, if any were made a bazillion dollars for, you know, Marvel, Disney, and now they're going to have Endgame and the closing of the Skywalker saga in a very, very, very small time frame. Yeah. They're going to be fine, people. Yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry. Well, what, like, Captain Marvel did, like, ridiculous amounts of money. It made a billion dollars. I mean. A billion. Endgame is, is again, it's a closing chapter, almost. You know, I mean, we've got some it individual is. films in the Marvel Universe coming out still. Right. But this is, like, the big one of that whole group being together. And the fact that, like you said, it crashed AMC's site and selling out and et cetera, et cetera. Um, Yeah. I mean, it's tricky when those kind of big pieces come out because there's a part of me that wants to be like, why would you release another film at the same time? Episode nine releases. Like, why would you do that to yourself? (laughs) Right. Right. Just wait till the next week. Yeah. Just wait till January. Just (laughs) Just don't, don't, don't bother. So, yeah, I, it, yeah, I think it's a smart decision to put it back in December. Yeah. Um, and I think that was, again, Solo Solo came out two weeks after Infinity War. 
It's just, I mean, it did well, yeah. but again, everyone gets distracted in the summer and it's very hard. Um, Cause there's almost too much. Know, it's almost too much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. So now, now that you have this thing where it's a little bit, like I said, you have winter break, you're going to go see some star Wars. Totally. And obviously if it's as amazing as we hope it to be, you, you're going to get your butt back in the seat. Absolutely. You know, like, Oh, Absolutely. we got to open up presents quick. Cause I got a show time at two. <laughs> Uh, love you. Merry Christmas. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Got some Star Wars stuff to do. Yes. So. All right, cool. Heather. Yes. Shall I close yeah. out news of the week? Yes. So, major news dropped. Um, I saw on the socials. Um, I did not mm. see it through this particular website, but it has confirmed on that hashtag show dot com. Um, oh yeah, that's. That's a good source. It's a good source, right? <laughs> um, and so there's a link. We'll probably get that included in a social somewhere, uh, maybe. But basically, or visit that, hashto- that hashtag show.com and <laughs> look for Star Wars Celebration. I know. I'm yes. doing great, guys. Um, <laughs> that's why you love me. That's why you have me back right. every week. That's right. That's right. Um, Star Wars Celebration store exclusives. So it's now talk about just this is what you know again going back to our tips based on what is released you need another suitcase so here we go let's just kind of go through them have you 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 like any favorites anything that sticks out to you um so i don't i have to do a quick scroll because i don't oh, okay. remember it but i mean i did see right. it i just it took me a moment so um we got the standard celebration shirt, you know. Yes. It's got a cool saga. It's got lots of characters on it. Oh. Faux show. Faux show. Um, I really, you know, it's very tricky. You know, you've got your standard basic. Um, it's very hard not to love the BB-8 shirt that they came out with. Um, it's pizza. It's people. Pizza, pizza. Which is so perfect for chicago like it is somebody in a room was thinking they're like yeah. you know what would be really funny um <laughs> it's a pe- pepperoni pizza <laughs> a pizza man um which is super fun and is that how the marketing guys talk at lucasfilm and celebration oh i hope so hey we get a pizza so. we put the pizza pie it looks like bb8 you know <laughs> there you go so um there you go Although I probably won't buy it, I was very excited to. I know, don't. It's fine. It's fine. The lunchbox that they have is actually pretty spectacular, dude. Um, Boba Fett, yo. It's the it's the holiday special cartoon. Like Boba Fett. it's the thing that you shouldn't want, but you do. Yeah, it's got the pink dinosaur on it. Man. So. Ugh. I want that one. That one's mine. Yeah. So it's like, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. There's, yeah. There's, I mean, literally, there's just so much stuff. It's ridiculous. Um, I'm trying to think of other things that are out there that, I mean, it's just like, they, that's the other thing. They just release this stuff like two minutes before you go, and you're like, dude, what are you doing? I know. So, but probably, I mean, my favorite, there is a t-shirt that says Star Wars is for everyone. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so I'm hoping I, th- I might be able to snag that. We'll see how that plays out. Um, <clears throat> Do, okay. Here, here's a question. Do you think that's a dig? A dig? Like what kind, what do you mean? <laughs> Like, I really feel like, like, that's almost like, start like them saying, you know what, it really is for everyone and not just these elitists. Uh, I'm going to use again, air quotes, like <laughs> fanboys, <quotes>. yeah. <laughs> bunny ears people here, uh, fanboys that like, you know, gotcha. Again, all the last, last Jedi, uh, hate and all that kind of stuff. And, I really feel this is something where it's almost like um, almost like they're sticking the pole in the ground and like, dude, this is, you know, Star Wars is for everyone. And those people or those that little 
community can go take a hike because this is where it's at. And I love the shirt. I'm a, I want to get that one, but I really do feel it's a dig. I feel like it's one of those things like we heard you and we listened to you, but really it is yeah. for everyone. Mm-hmm. So if it's not for you, that's great. That's okay. But right. you don't have to tell us about it every day, you know. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I, I just love that shirt. I love that shirt. Um, yeah, there's just so much there. I mean, there's like ten pages of stuff, but you know, take take at your leisure what you want. But yeah, that that one I I need in my life. <laughs> I need it in my life to move on. In my life, <laughs> right? <laughs> right. So. All right, Todd. Yes. Let's move on to Cantina Chat. Because I feel like this is going to be the last Cantina Chat before celebration where, because like, Obviously, next Cantina chat is going to be celebration. <laughs> celebration. So, so what has what has your week been going through mm. in the geekdom world? Well, uh, I wasn't here last week. Outside of the sickness yeah, I in was, the house, wasn't here last week to toot my own horn. Right. But, dude, I was on StarWars.com. <gasps> I know we shouted you out. So that was very awesome because, uh, you know, there's that saying goes where when one door closes, the other another door opens, right? So yeah. I reached out to Amy Ratcliffe, who is um, she does she wrote the book Women's of the Galaxy, you know, with all the girls, yeah. and I was like, hey, you want to be on the podcast? And she's like, uh, I really can't because my schedule's like <clears throat> crazy. Cool. Totally get yeah. it. Totally get it. Because, like, I really want to talk about the book and, like, you know, all that kind of stuff. But then, like, I got an email from her, like, two days later. And she's like, hey, I'm looking for some Star Wars celebrations, you know, stories that I want to do for an upcoming article. I'm like, yeah, I got I got a story, you know. And so it was like, say it was February 19th. She needed, like, February 21st. So I had to write, you know, like this. 400 word less thing, you know, and if you have a picture, you had to make sure it was signed with affidavits and all this stuff. I'm like, okay. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So I'm doing that frantically. And so I did it and it kind of just, I mean, I I checked on it like, Hey, do you know if that's going to post? She's like, I don't know when it's going to happen, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, no problem. I'm just like, let it be, you know? And then, then I get an email like last week and she's like, Remember that article I asked you about? I'm like, yeah. And she's like, you made it, and it's dropping now. <laughs> I was like, okay, cool. You know, so um, got to be one of the three people that were in this article. I was like, dude, that was cool. So it was about celebration. So what's even better going into celebration week? You know, so yeah, um, yeah. For so sure. that was really cool. Um, my like I said, my kids are sick, so my wife and I, Jen, are sick of our kids being sick. So it's kind of been my life the last couple of weeks. Um, uh, just seriously, like today, I picked out some T-shirts. I have people. I have like too many T-shirts. Way, way too many T-shirts <laughs> that are healthy for Star Wars. Um, so I try to narrow it down. You know, I might have to make some you know, changes, but yeah. So kind of picked that out, you know, for the week. Um, I got one surprise outfit, so hopefully I'll do that. And then I want to, you know, obviously I'm going to troop a little bit, I hope. So, yeah. So that, that's kind of been my prep for the week. Heather, what, what's going on with you this week? I am a hem away to finishing my skirt for celebration. Just got to hem it. I bought these uh, Star Wars figurines. Um, I'm going to attempt to mount a um, AT-AT to a headband so he can ride my head because then it'll match my skirt. I don't even know what to say to this. I don't even know what to say. I know. I don't even know what to say. To- I know what you're thinking. No, girl, 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 you're crazy. girl, you are awesome. And you're right. I am. <laughs> um, you only got a couple days. 
no problem. So yeah, so that um, that all went down. So we're gonna hopefully get that all completed. Yeah. Um, okay. That's what okay. else? What else have I done this week? It's I don't big. know. That might be it. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Sorry. I'm trying to think. Yeah, it's that's kind of that's the big piece of it because because I feel like a lot of it's just yeah, prepping. No. Yeah. You, you had me at 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 on your head. So as long as you have an add on on your head, I, I'm fine. What else? What else do you need? Well, I'm Man. sure uh, Aaron so. will have like we might just have to have an episode after celebration recap, like an episode of Aaron just telling us all about his RPG. So <laughs> get all caught up, you know. All right, Heather, how about we wrap this up? I would be honored to wrap it up. <laughs> All right. So thank you again for listening to another episode of WSTR, Galactic Public Access. So check us out on our social media. That's where all the fun, good stuff happens. Um, WSTR Media, all lowercase, all one word. Um, and we always want to hear from you. So please Shoot us an email at mailbox at wstrmedia.com. Leave us a voicemail at 630-557-WSTR, 630-557-9787. And, of course, comment and tweet us um, as we prepare ourselves for celebration. Um, Because if we learn who you are through the digital world, we will find you and ask who you are once we see you at Celebration. <laughs> and put faces and names together. Oh, uh, that's hilarious. Be- oh, yeah, we totally forgot, too. Like, what? we're 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 out there. We'll have buttons. Yes. We'll, I mean, we're going to, you know, if you want to get a button, you got to work for it, you know? True so, statement. Yeah, we'll have, like, trivia questions, um, quotes. Do your favorite quotes, you know? Mm. And then if you're willing, well, I mean, we'll record it and then you could listen to it and it'll be forever digitalized in, in the in the cloud or I love in, it. in a podcast, you know, so. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. So come meet us. We'll, we'll be there. Yes. We'll be there. Awesome. Awesome. So, um, and of course, you know, if this is your first time hearing us, then you have like. 12 hours before celebration to go to podcast.wstrmedia.com to listen to our whole back catalog of episodes so you're fully caught up um, by, you know, I, celebration. I don't know if that's doctor recommended. I don't know, man. That probably might be a not. little Because yeah, remember, remember one of our top 10 things was sleep, so maybe yes, don't do that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. It was yeah. worth a shot. So, but... Um, we do have a, a store, so visit store.wstrmedia.com. Find our merch. Um, you're gonna there, see there won't some, be any lines for that. No lines. <laughs> or lotteries or cues or anything like that. You can exactly. just go there. So um, and you're going to see some of that great new merch on minimally myself and Todd um, at Celebration. We'll be repping. Um, for show. For show. For show. Um mm-hmm. And so, yeah, so you'll check out the new logo. We got business cards we'll be handing out, those buttons that Todd mentioned. So be prepared to be inundated. Yeah, it's like the GIF, you know, like where the guy, you know, like uh, just throwing out the money. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah, that's going to be us. We'll just be like. Dollar, dollar bills, co- y'all. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I, well, that's the other thing I forgot to mention Cantina what? Chat. What? I like signed like a bazillion of my 501st cards. What? This week, we watched a lot of movies because the kids were sick. So I'm like, totally. you know, I'm going to sign some cards. I have a plethora of cards. And so I'm like, I'm going to sign them. So I'm just going to be handing them out like, hey, you're, you're here. You like Star Wars? Have a card. Take you this. Know. Right. <laughs> take, take, take this. Take this. I don't want it. Take it. Take it. You want this. Oh, my God. But I'm going to remember my tip and be respectful. Good. You know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. All right. Well, it's a lot of information. Dude, so much information. But next week, yeah, we're going to break down the shenanigans of Star Wars Celebration. Pro- I promise you, you will not want to miss this. Yeah. Because it's yeah. going to be crazy. I don't know if my I'm, I don't know if I'm ready for that, man. <sighs> 
There's going to be a lot of deep breathing exercises. <laughs> we'll do like group yoga before we start or something. That that one we should live stream. So we're just like, we're kind of like shaking in the corner. You know, <laughs> like, you know, like, I don't know what we saw, but it was amazing and what we experienced. But uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be great. It's going to so, be great. 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 Um, but it'll be super fun. We'll hopefully all three be back together to share all of the goodies. And yes, we, we need to be a full, full power. Full, yeah. At full, at full power, <laughs> full WSTR media power. It's going to be we, great. Th- yeah. The team might be full power, but we might not be full power because we'll be so exhausted from celebration. Smart. Yeah. Smart. Yeah, yeah. It's all right. We'll have coffee on hand. It'll be great. That's right. That's right. So, thank so. you for joining us. Get excited for celebration as you're listening to this, and we can't wait to see you there. So, yeah, yeah, we can't break tradition, so there's only one way to end this episode. <laughs> right, let's do it. Let's do it now. now this is podcasting. podcasting. I'm just going to scream, Star Wars Celebration! Woo-hoo! In Chi Town! Dickish Pizza! The bean! <laughs> lots, lots of bean! Everything! <laughs>